On this day, a prayer for peace, Memorial Day 2010, by the President of the United States, a proclamation. Since our nation's foundings, American sons and daughters have given their lives in service to our country. From Concord to Gettysburg, from Normandy to Ichon, from Baghdad to Candelar, they've departed our world as heroes and gave us their lives for a cause greater than themselves. On Memorial Day, we pay tribute to those who paid the ultimate price to defend the United States and the principles upon which America was founded. In honor of our country fallen, I encourage all Americans to unite at 3 p.m. local time to observe, observe a national moment of remembrance. Today, Americans from all backgrounds, quarters of our country, serve with valor, courage, and its distinction in the United States Armed Forces. They stand shoulder to shoulder with the giants of our nation's history, writing their own chapter in the American story. Many of today's warriors know what it means to lose a friend too soon. And all our service members and their families understanding the true meaning of sacrifice. This Memorial Day, we express our deepest appreciation to the men and women in uniform who gave us their last measure of devotion so we might live in freedom. They laid down their lives, and they laid down their lives before we could have their memory. We mourn with their families and friends for those who we lost and hope we could find comfort in knowing their loved ones died in honor. We ask our God's grace to protect those fighting in distant lands, and we renew our promise to support our troops, their families, and our veterans. Their unwavering devotion inspires all of us. They are the best of America. It is our sacred duty to preserve the legacy of these brave Americans, and it remains our charge to work for peace, freedom, and security. Let us always strive to uphold the founding principles they died defending. Let their legacy continue to inspire our nation, and let this solemn lesson of service and sacrifice be taught to future generations of Americans. In honor of their dedication and service to America, by Congress, by joint resolution, approved May 11, 1950, as amended U.S. 36116, has requested the President to issue a proclamation calling on the people of the United States to observe each Memorial Day as a day of prayer for permanent peace and designate a period on that day which the people of the United States might unite in prayer. The Congress, by public law 106579, has also designated at 3 p.m. local time that on that day as the time for all Americans to serve in their own way the national moment for remembrance. Now, therefore, I, Barack Obama, President of the United States, do hereby proclaim Memorial Day, May 31st, 2010, as a day of prayer for permanent priests, and I de and designate the hour beginning at each locality at 11 a.m., the day that unites us in prayer. I also ask all Americans to observe the national moment of remembrance beginning at 3 p.m. local time on Memorial Day. I request that the governors of the United States and the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico and the appropriate officials of all units of government to direct that the flags be flown at half staff until noon on this Memorial Day at all buildings, grounds, and naval vessels throughout the United States and in all areas under its jurisdictions and control. I also request the people of the United States to play their flag at half staff from their homes for this customary forenoon period. In witness whereof I hereto on set my hand on this 28th day of May in this year of our Lord 2010 and the independence of the United States of America 234th. Barack Obama, President of the United States. <laughs>